Hey guys. Hi guys, how you guys doing today? Hope everyone's having a blessed and wonderful day. And if you're seeing this video, go ahead and give us a like, share, and subscribe. And if you're seeing it on TikTok, go ahead and give us a follow and all other social medias. But my name is Jamel. My name is Tracy. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. This is the first video of the New Year's. And today we're going to be talking about staying in alignment with God. What's the benefits when you stay in alignment with God? And what's the consequences when you get out of alignment with God? So first thing that I definitely do want to add is in order to stay in alignment with God, you definitely have to know how to be able to discern his voice and be able to actually be willing to do what he actually tells you to do. So that means being obedient when God says, hey, do this and do that. Oftentimes, um, when people are not in alignment with God, they may feel disconnected to God. And that's because... They either don't know how to seek after God Amen. or hear from the Holy Spirit Amen. or they have been led astray. Yes. So they're actually not even hearing from the Holy Spirit. They're living in the world. They're doing what they want to do or they, they feel like, okay, my way is better than the way that God is telling me to go by. So one verse that I definitely want to add in is Psalm chapter 119, verse 67. Yeah. And it says, this is David speaking. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I obey your word. You are good and what you do is good. Teach me your decrees. Amen. Now in this verse, basically David is talking about when he um, went through troubles and he was afflicted, he was astray from God. So when you are being led astray and when you go away from God's alignment for your life and you're not hearing from God, you're not seeking after him anymore, that's when you give the enemy, um, you know, access to come and attack you. So that's uh, why a lot of people, they may feel attacked or they may feel like, dang, I feel like God doesn't love me because you open that door for the enemy to attack you because you're not even seeking after God. You know, a lot of people... They only talk to God when they need something. So at this certain amount of time, they're like, hey, God, I need to do this. I need to do that. Like, I need this done by this certain time. And they want to do things. They want God to do things on their time. And they feel like God is a genie. God is definitely not a genie. And everything that is going on in our life is what he wants us to do. We don't live for ourselves. We live for God. Yeah. We're living here to save other people, to save lost souls and help other people, you know, build their relationship with Christ. Yeah, that's definitely correct. Like, uh, let me go ahead and relate one scripture to what my wife is saying. Romans chapter 5, verse 19. For, at, for excuse me, for as by the one's man disobedience, that many were made sinners. So by the one man obedience, that many will be made righteous. So what this is saying, Romans chapter five, verse 19, is saying that if just one person can obey my commands, can obey my laws, he can bring many to Christ, yes. many to the body of Christ. But it's also saying just one person disobedience, just one person can throw a lot of people off guard, throw a lot of people and lead them into the the wide gate to hell, the wide gate to destruction, because there's a narrow path to the kingdom gates of heaven, and there's a wide path to destruction. So when you see these social media influencers, these rappers, or um, these actors and actresses, that one man, that one woman, that is people lead, idolize. Yeah, is leading people, uh, leading people astray. But if that one person were to follow God's commands, they can leave a lot of people to the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So this is what this is saying. We have to stop living in our fleshy ways. We have to stop living for the world and pick up the cross and follow behind God because we can save so many people and lead people to the path of righteousness instead of the path of destruction. Something I definitely do want to add in when he was talking about rappers, actors, and a lot of social media influencers, you know, I know a lot of people that may speak to it like, you know, how can I help people? Even something, you don't have to have a million followers for people to, you know, be influenced by you. You can influence your friends, your family members, you know, strangers on the street. You can start off little by little and you'll just ask God like, hey, help me network with these people. So, you know, your ministry can start to grow. You know, a lot of people, like I said before, you know, they think as God as like a genie. So they want things at this time and it needs to be done right then and there. 
but you know sometimes i do think like do these people pray without seizing mm -hmm. are they fasting mm -hmm. letting go of their flesh and mm -hmm. trying to grow their spirit man you know and a lot of the times you know lukewarm christians you know they're not doing that you know they just they talk to god when they want to and they continue to still live in the world and you know God is definitely, you know, not into lukewarm Christians. Like he said in Revelations, he's going to spit those lukewarm Christians out his mouth. Yes, mm -hmm. that is very true. And the lukewarm Christians out of your mouth is going to be spit up. That is very true. That is very true. And what she's saying about this, you cannot continue to just live halfway for God. Mm -hmm. In 2022, this is not the year to be doing that. You should have left that in 2021. 2022 is the year where we got to continue to pray and fast and stay connected to the vine and have a hedge of protection over your life because many are going to fall short of God's glory, which it says in Romans chapter 3, verse 22, for, I have, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So when she is saying that this being a little world Christian, yeah, of course, nobody's going to be perfect. Nobody's going to be perfect in God's eyes because God is completely perfect without sin. Mm -hmm. So righteous. we're not, yeah, he's righteous. So we're not saying to be perfect, but we're saying to try your best to turn away from sin. Yeah, don't God, serve two gods. Yeah, don't. it says not to serve two masters because you will either love one or hate the other. Mm -hmm. So we're not, when we're saying turn away from your sins and stuff like that, it's going to be hard to turn away from your sins. But when you fast and when you pray and when you try to lo ask God to locate your heart, God is going to see your fruits. God is going to know you by your fruits and how you act. How you act when you're not watching YouTube videos of, of prophets and men of God. Or when you're not, when you're, when you're in your workplace, when you're at school, or either when you are just at a, in your car and somebody gets in front of you. And you're like, oh, person aren't, you know, God's going to see your fruits because God's going to see your true intentions in your heart. He's going to continue to see your true intentions in your heart. So you cannot hide your heart from God. You might can hide it from somebody else mm -hmm. and act holy, holy, holy. It says for um, everybody might say, Lord, 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 but not everybody's going to enter to the kingdom of gates. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. Mm -hmm. I never knew you. He said, haven't I cast out devils in your name? God's still going to say, I never knew you because his heart was the heart and his heart. Him and his heart was not right. Like, their heart was not right with the things of God. Something that I also do want to add in is I want to just share my little testimony of when I was out of, you know, alignment with God and not hearing from him. And I went, you know, through a lot of things. So um, it was a specific friend group that I was in. And I was hearing from the Lord saying, hey, this right here, this friend group that you're in, let these people go these are not the people who i've called you to be friends with like you know every people not everyone in your life is going to be long term or forever you know some people are you know seasonal some people they're only there for that specific season or that specific chapter in your life so i wasn't listening to god because i'm like man i'm really cool with these girls they're you know they're really nice to me and stuff like that I mean, but that's cool and all, you know, people can be cool and nice and be fun, but Still are they leading? leading? Yeah, they're leading you to yeah, hell. Yeah. Like, what are you, what are you guys doing that's glorifying God? You guys partying, cursing, gossiping. How is that glorifying me? How is that helping other souls that, who, that don't know about me? Mm -hmm. You know, so what I noticed is that the more I continue to be friends with them, the more God was basically like, See, I told you why you shouldn't have been friends with them. I was noticing little things. And, you know, my spirit, every time I'll be around certain people, my spirit, certain, like, certain friends must be like, hey, this right here, I, we can't even be around them for that long. Like, my spirit was just not okay with their spirit. So, I was just thinking, okay, these are my friends. And I don't know what God talking about, but they, they cool, they nice, they fun, they don't mean no harm. So, I'm going to do it my way. And a situation basically happened, and I was like, wow, God, I, I see what you were talking about. I see why you gave me that alert, like, hey, leave that person alone. You know, sometimes God will talk to you in dreams or through another person. Because I was hearing from other people, too, like, hey, these, these, this is not the people that you should be cool with or friends with. And I was also, um, I was getting dreams, too. But, of course, 
you're not, you know, me around that time when I was still living for the world and gossiping was cool to me. Mm. Like, you know, I was I was cool with gossiping, listening to secular music and, you know, just being someone that God has not called me to be. I was mm. okay with that. I didn't see nothing wrong with it. So that's why I definitely do want to encourage you guys. Like when God tells you not to do something or to let go of someone or to not work at that specific area, please listen to him because that's when you will be in a situation where, you know, it's like a I told you so moment and then now you're like crawling back to God because that's exactly what happened. After that whole like friend group thing happened, like I was just crawling back to God, like God help me, heal my heart because, you know, I did go through a season where my heart was broken because I was just like, wow, you know, I didn't expect people to like act that way towards me. Yeah, and what basically what my wife is saying is like her friend group was not of God, but she was searching after God at the time, mm -hmm. and she was a lukewarm. It says evil corrupt, evil corruptions corrupt good man, good manners. So when you're a woman of God or a man of God is seeking after God, but you're around some people that doesn't care about God, and you come constantly around them, you're constantly hanging around them, it's gonna they're bad. He's just gonna rub off on you. Yeah, that's what God said. You ever heard that? Like I heard that. You ever heard of that saying that you are who you hang out with? Look at your friend group. Mm -hmm. So if your friend groups, if you're in a friend group full of scammers and robbers, they're gonna entice you to scam and rob. Mm -hmm. If your friend group is full of gossipers, you're gonna be enticed to enticed to gossip. Mm -hmm. So that's why you have to watch who you hang out with. That's why. We're talking about staying in alignment with God and what happens when you stay out of alignment with God. See, she was out of alignment with God, so that led to her being depressed. That led to her being sad and heartbroken. and heartbroken. But when she was in alignment with God, if she would have had friends that was in alignment with God, she wouldn't have been like that because friends of God is going to bring you up and encourage you to get closer to God and be and, and do things of God and not do things of this world. Something that also really do want to add people of god i don't know i feel like the holy spirit is telling me this because this is something that i definitely struggle with too please stay away from secular music guys because it is one of the main topic, the holy spirit is telling me <laughs> stay away from secular music because these secular music they promote fornication they promote cursing they promote they adultery. promote adultery yes adultery robbing all types pornography. of pornography yeah all in the music videos please stay away from it these things they pray over these songs so it could be addicting so you guys could keep saying in your head some songs may be sad music you may be happy before you listen to the song and then after you're like all sad because of that specific song that you were just listening to so please stay away from secular music we are definitely going to make a video yes, on that should. but i just felt like the holy spirit really told me and it's the reason why, like, the secular milk is so, like, addicted and stuff like that. You got to think about before the devil got kicked out of heaven, what was he? He was a top musician in there. He, he was beautiful. His music was so enticing and so intrig intriguing. So what do you think that the, the kingdom of darkness is using now to manipulate people and get people to kill people, rob people, and, you know, feel heartbroken, depressed, and sad? Music. Mm-hmm. The right. enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes, the, yes. the devil knows that he's about to burn in the lake of fire. So he's trying to take as many people with him as possible. Yes. So that's why the devil will promise you all these temporary things. Because he knows that a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, money, cars, riches and stuff. I want that. I want that. Mm -hmm. You know, the devil wants to give you stuff quick so yeah. you can like you know be on the way to hell you know sometimes god he takes his time with us you know sometimes it's not gonna be as fast because he wants us to learn something mm -hmm. before we get the promise yes you know everybody in the bible they went through something they went through some type of trial before they got the promise yes and uh we just we really thank you guys for watching this video do you have anything else to say baby keep praying without seizing Stop listening to circular music. Turn from your sinful ways. 
even if it's hard. Ask God to fill you up with the Holy Spirit and allow the Holy Spirit to walk with you every single day. When you feel like you're about to sin or, you, or you're about to go back to something that you know God doesn't want you to do, pray to God and be like, you know, if you were... Like when I listen to secular music and I and I feel that urge to listen to secular music, I'm like, I rebuke and I renounce that spirit of secular music. So just start rebuking it, renounce it. Keep fasting. Mm -hmm. You know, that's you letting go of your flesh and you're being stronger in your spirit. Be blessed. Amen. And impact other souls. Yes, of course the impact. You have to this is the season. 2022 is a season to impact more souls. Another thing, guys, when you are seeing this video, please share this video. Please like this video. We work so hard on this video. And please donate to the ministry. Please donate to the ministry so we can continue to upgrade the equipment. So we continue to keep broadcasting to you guys. We thank you so much for watching our video. And I want to say one more thing. If my wife doesn't have anything else to say, you good, baby? I want to say I'm one, good, but I don't have nothing to say. Well, I, I want to say one more scripture about talking about how you, if you stay in alignment with God, then what what He would do for you. Um, Proverbs, Proverbs chapter one, verse twenty three to verse twenty three through thirty three says, "If you turn to my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit to you. I will make my words known to you, because I have called and you refuse to listen." I've stretched out my hand and no one has heeded because it ignored my counsel and would have none and would have none of my reproof. I will also I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when terror strikes you. When terror strikes you like a storm, your calamity comes like a whirlwind. When the distress and anguish come upon you, see what that is saying. If if you continue to not listen to the things of God. Just say you watch this video and you hear it to, and it's the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. So I listen to worldly music. So I'm hanging around in friends. You hear my wife's testimony. And you know the Holy Spirit is talking to you and you continue to keep doing it and you get in trouble and you call on God. God is going to laugh at you. He's going to laugh at you because he has told you many of times. But you want to call on him when, he is, when you're in trouble. But he ain't gave you all the signs to lead you out of trouble. He gave you everything to not even, he, he gave you all the signs for you to not even get into the trouble that you're in right now. So God bless y'all. We love y'all so love much. <laughs> <laughs> so God bless y'all. We love y'all so much. Stay tuned. The next video we're probably going to do is talk about uh, the music industry and this worldly music and stuff like that. So we thank y'all. Happy New Year. God bless y'all. Thank you for joining Kindle Ministry. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Love you guys so much. Bye-bye.